I'm dealing with this, this moment between the edge of the sea and the land. And it's a moment in the sense of um, eternity where the sea is constantly redrawing a line. And the lines are never the, never the same, but they're highly related. And I thought that was so beautiful because in a sense, it's like painting an edge. Sean Scully is talking here about his seascapes, paintings he refers to as landlines. But it could almost be J.M.W. Turner talking about his work, The Evening Star, which was painted 180 years ago. Although the Victorians thought Turner was a bit of a madman with his crazy abstract style, he's revered now. This entire exhibition was inspired by the connection Scully felt with the Evening Star. But interestingly for me, it also offers another opportunity to take a second look at Turner's painting, finding similarities in the way both artists focus on the horizon and looking again at the way Turner layers paint to create natural light. Scully's work offers an unexpected callback to Turner. Scully's paintings are very physical. Huge swathes of colour fill the canvas. His brush strokes are strong, not delicate. And yet there is a kind of commonality in style for both artists at the points where colours meet and where they stay separate. For the show's curator, Colin Wiggins, though, Scully's work is as much about shape as colour. The way they work is that each panel, it's four panels, each one has had a section cut out when the painting's finished and then put in an empty space where another section's been cut out. So you could actually take these and like reassemble the original paintings, but he wanted this idea of displacement. I was asking Sean about you know, what this is about, what influences, because I was writing the catalogue essay at the time, what influences do you think there are? And Sean always answers things like that, slightly tongue-in-cheek. And he just said, Lego. <laughs> and I thought, that's all I need to know. Scully was also inspired by music and rhythm. Well, I think that the culture of being Irish, which has a kind of repetitive rhythm running through the music, which is quite fast, is very interesting. That's obviously deep in me. Repetition is very strong in Ireland, in, in all of uh, Irish culture. And then, of course, I fell in love with the blues, because I had the blues, and it corresponded greatly to something that I needed. You know, it kind of, in a way, saved me. And um, this simple, rhythmical quality is very evident to me in my work. With horizontal bands of colour, Scully gives us endless horizons, rhythm and shape. And while it's often tricky to display a modern artist alongside an old master, Scully brings out Turner's abstraction, helping us read an old painting in a new way. Sean Scully and J.M.W. Turner's juxtaposed works can be seen together at the National Gallery until August the 11th. Miranda Atty, TRT World, London.